Productions will take it off a vet off the 3500 Chevy. What's up YouTube? Before this video gets started, today is October 1st, 2017. And I would like to announce, uh, first of all, why am I holding a camera, why am I editing it, and why am I putting it on YouTube? You're probably looking at it like, this guy's got 20 views, he thinks he's famous. I have some friends who normally watch me on YouTube regularly. Recently YouTube has changed their monetization guidelines. They pay YouTubers not by the views anymore. They now pay by watch time. And this new thing that I have reached at 10,000 views, uh, my channel gets reviewed and I guess approved for monetization. Until then, I'm just gonna keep cranking out videos. No matter if I'm getting five views, 25 views, or 105 views. I need to get up there a little bit until I uh, get to that 10,000. Ayo! My dad is in the workshop right now listening to someone talking. My dad's listening to some talking thing right now. I don't understand how people can handle this. This is the type of thing that would tick me off profusely. I know that I don't understand how somebody could be like driving down the road and we sit in a stoplight, you open up your window, you can hear the car next to you. Blast some music. I can't handle listening to somebody talk. Um, it's a nice day outside. Today's project is taking the old race rig, taking the uh, bed off it, put some rust sauce on it. The reason I call it a race rig is, <laughs> why are those, why are those straps there? Okay, I think that's to hold the exhaust in place because right now it sounds like a race car because the exhaust is falling apart on my car too. And if you're wondering why there hasn't been any car uh, footage yet, um, there's many reasons for that. I can tell you that this summer, uh, me and Joe did a couple videos with the car. Me and Joe did a, me and Joe did a little bit with the car. Okay, this is not working for me. I need to work on my confidence level. I'm a little upset right now. Okay, a few things to boost my confidence level. Uh, okay, friends and family, I'm in the middle of I, I lost my words. I'm in the middle of editing that disgusting coffee part. Yeah, so I was literally just editing and then I hear somebody creeping down my driveway and living here for over 10 years, you can tell, like, you know the gravel sound, but you know when somebody's going extra slow. Why is that bag there? <laughs> So there's casually just a Ford F-150 just chilling there. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Wait, you know what? Every time I'm starting a video, I always go through the garage. I'm going through the other door now. Oh, and by the way, the F-150 is just chilling there. They're hunting for something to eat. Because they can't buy food because they spent all their money on an aluminum F-150. It's hard to believe, but the last clip or whatever was yesterday. Today is October 1st. Uh, just like the beginning of the video, I was like, Hey guys, today is October 1st. And so, I guess we're actually going to get down to business now. And actually do something with the truck. Looks like he's gotten pretty far. Whoa! You got really, really, really far. Look at those brake lights, dude. They're totally gone. Huh? Many, many bolts in here are gone. If we drove down the road and hit a good bump, the bed would go flying off. <laughs> honestly, I would love to see honestly, that. Look, here, watch this. Are you good, bro? A few people could lift this right off. Two good, strong people. That means, you know, me and one other good, kind of strong guy at least could do it. See? Cool, huh? Just What's this tingling? Oh, hey, I was talking about the um, F-150 sitting there. Oh yeah, no Fords allowed here. Well, I, I decided that he's down there hunting for food because he spent all his money on an aluminum F-150. That's probably what it is. You know, he's hungry, he's got to feed his children, and uh... His little F-150 babies. Exactly. The Ford Ranger. <laughs> Here's a safety hook, by the way. They have to come out. 
Oh. Put the springs and the bolts back on them. Here's the box of things of little parts. Have to go back in. All the cool stuff. In here, that oh. has to go back in. Okay. Right. Honestly, most of the people watching this, all they care about in cars is the horn. People watching this are going to care about a lot more. This is going to be give them a little good detail on them moving to bed. A fairly complex bed because it's set. Hi, hey guys. We're getting ready for the thumbnail. Speaking about nails, so I'm currently trying, I backed the tractor up to the dolly so I can pull it. I don't know how I get the hitch down on the thing. What is this, guys? Is it true that your truck's aluminum because you're hunting for food? It's aluminum. I don't think this is part of the plan. <laughs> I'm videoing this in case he hits my car so I can have an insurance scam. Hey guys. Hey guys. Both left wait, right went into there. wait, hold up. You're telling me this is what I saw strapped up underneath the truck at the beginning of the video? <laughs> why are those why are those straps there? And it's off? Yeah. Well now what does it sound like? It sounds the same. It's time for surgery for the old girl. Excuse me, sir. There's a noise guideline in this neighborhood. The animals can't eat peacefully when you're doing this. They're too fat anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's like rah! Whoa! I'm trying to get a thumbnail right now. I don't really know where to stand. It's necessary. All the girls watching my channel are all like thumbnail time. Derp, 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 derp. Why do they like curve different ways? When he turns, they like curve. Look. Look, that one's out. It's just like I'm over here just like, hey guys. You left it like rawr. Oh, was that in your way? I didn't like this branch here. <laughs> Ayo. Nice tractor, dude. Is this to keep the ghosts out? What happened? What happened? That branch really ticked you off. We, we have a problem. What? Your tractor hasn't shaved in a while. Say no more, fam. <laughs> Race rig. I don't think the bucket's gonna go high enough to... I need a person to study it. Hey guys, you're on a tripod. Okay, bye. Yeah, I came in with a saw. Oh, yeah, I came in with a saw. Yeah. I almost died. <laughs> trying to get a thumbnail. Yeah. You know what? I'm not gonna put that as a thumbnail. I'm gonna put me struggling to hold it up as a thumbnail. That's a thumbnail. Imagine doing this to a new truck. I don't know, maybe like an aluminum Ford. Watch it fall. Honestly though, this would look so funny driving down the street. 
Somebody hits us in this truck right now. Not that safe. Tires help everything, even Fords. So you expect me to just like know what I'm doing? Okay, well I'm just gonna... Oh hey! Is he gonna do a burnout? Um, I think I'm gonna make a my dad rolling tires compilation. Or I should just make a my dad with tires compilation. Nope. Bad planning. <laughs> Yay, we're done. Alright, let's get something to eat. Hi guys. That's how close I am in life. Hey, push my future car out of the way, would ya? That's how close we are to the party, guys. That's how close we are. Oh, I'm getting closer. Oh, we are close to this party, boys. Oh, look at that water. Welcome to Bee Productions channel, where we do the craziest stuff on Earth. Not really, but whoa, this car is so screwed. Uh. Hey guys, this is Bee Productions channel. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yo guys, today on Ricer Nation, we're gonna teach you how to build your Ricer. First of all, buy a $2,000 truck. Second step, weight reduction. That's right folks, all it takes, it's a really easy step, it'll take two days, but that's all right. Take the bed off of your truck. Make sure you have a 3500 because they're totally not heavier than 1500s. That, that's about it, guys. Then you have this. You have a, um, you have a single bed truck with a um, with weight reduction. That's what it's called. Uh, and then, guys, if you're too cheap, too cheap to buy some aftermarket exhaust or something like that, just cut it off. That's about it on Racer Nation today, guys. Hope you enjoyed my video. On a real note, <laughs> do you think it's like a tiny bit faster now that it's <laughs> got less weight on it? And then you have your rice truck. Sounds pretty gnarly to me. I was not invited. I was supposed to eat here. Take me to the I get on the beat. I can see through every last one of y'all. To be clear, I talked about God. Weight reduction is key. Got some awards on me now. Got some dough on me now. Like halftime, I had some friends switch goals on me now. This session teach you a lesson if you doze on me now. Like how to depend on the Lord, cause he rose on me now. I see a generation now. Everybody wanna be famous, want everybody to love you Y'all wanna be famous, and everybody hate truth You gon' probably hate this, but my foundation on the rock So I'm okay with being Chris This world evil, and manipulate people Hey guys! Well, like wearing a suit of armor around Magneto Arms, she assembled this year like the Avengers You a swam, Stan Lee, how I help you to see the vision We ain't got a whole lot, just a few stones Tryna slay a giant in the industry that say you gotta be Goliath Said we be nothing, but they lying. See, my faith is in what God say. I suggest you try it. It's mine. They said that I would never make it. Look at me now. I would say that they're mistaken. Look at me now. Nineteen ninety-seven Chevy, one ton. Uh, this bed removal was a little more complex than most because it's got a gooseneck hitch and the chain hooks go through the bed you got to take them out the next thing you got to do is unhook the uh, gas filler neck there's three little bolts here take them out you, you have the gas cap off push this down through you can get it through and then underneath the bed go back up in there and just screw the cap on and leave it there underneath don't forget this little ground strap take that off too now working your way back here there's a little more complex back here because you had another uh, seven pin connector up here in the bed so take this apart and slide the wires slide the connector forward take the wires out of the connector remember where they go and then pull that through pull all the wires down for the tail light and any other accessories like that now that you've got wiring and all your other things disconnected and out of the way let's go to the meat of it you want to take out the eight bolts that actually hold the bed to the truck frame 
And here's number one right here. Here's number two. Way back here, number three. And number four. These back ones were pretty rusty. I used the torch to heat them up and get them out. And on the other side, same thing. There's uh, five, number six, number seven, and number eight. Now you're ready to lift the bed off. There you go. I can only be me, I don't fit in That's Steph Curry from three points for the win Reflect God, reflect greatness, that's the moment I stay real, I stay true You know, no, 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 no You know, no, 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 no I can only be me 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 you know, no, 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 no. You know, no, 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 no. I can only be me. 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 You be in jeopardy. You know your boy's gotta have his fun too. All the girls are like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I get those goosebumps every time. I need the hymen. Throw that to the side. Yo. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. When you're not around, when you throw that to the side, yeah. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. 713 to the 281, yeah, I'm riding. Why they on me? Why they on me? I'm flying.